So now we look at a similar question, a similar model for a discrete time signal. They have given us a signal xn, a discrete time signal xn and they are uh, asking us to perform the given operations. So we are going to look at them one by one as we have done earlier. First operation is time shifting, time shifting but since this is a discrete time signal we are having only 4 samples, see all the values, these values are known as samples, they are occurring only at 4 time points, time intervals, so we are having 4 samples. Now when we perform this time shifting since there is a minus sign in between this is going to be a right shift, so what happens is all the samples of the signal get shifted by 2 time 2 units in Time. Okay, so the sample which was earlier occurring at n is equal to 1 is now going to occur at n is equal to 3. Similarly, sample at n is equal to 4 is going to occur at n is equal to 6. So this signal which was previously be, uh, between 1 and 4 is now going to lie between 3 and 6. So this is how the signal is going to look now. So this sample one, uh, this sample which is occurring at n is equal to 1 is now going to occur at n is equal to 3. Similarly all the samples get shifted to right by 2 units. So this is going to be the new signal time shifted signal x of n minus 2 right. Now look at the next part this is time scaling right we have multiplied this n by 2 so this is time scaling time compression to be precise so what happens is each sample each value of n is going to get divided by 2 now see what happens in time compression is when you are going to divide all these values by 2 some of them are not going to be integers anymore these odd values 1 by 2, 3 by 2 they are not going to be integers and we are going to lose these samples ok. These samples are going to be lost because of compression in time these samples would no longer be retained right because these when divided by 2 they are not going to be integers anymore. So we are going to have only 2 samples then one is going to be this sample which is lying at n is equal to 2 and the other one at n is equal to 4. So after time compression this signal is going to look like this. We are going to have only 2 samples one which was previously at n is equal to 2 now it is going to lie at n is equal to 1. one value of this sample is 2 so this is going to be 2 and value of this sample was 3 so this is going to be 3 at n is equal to 2 right so this is how x of 2n is going to look like. Now look at the third part this is time reversal ok so what we are doing is we are just reversing the values previously the sample which was occurring at n is equal to 1 is now going to occur at n is equal to minus 1 so this is going to be at n is equal to minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 ok so if I just draw this signal it is going to look something like this ok so my, at minus 1 we are going to have this sample this value of the sample was 1 2, 3, 3. So this is how this time reverse signal is going to look like. Okay, now see if uh, we look at the fourth part, this is a combination of reversal and shifting. Okay, we have performed two operations, reversal and shifting. We have already discussed this that the original, uh, I mean the order to do this would be first you shift and then you reverse, right? Or you can just write it as, I am going to write this as minus of n minus 2. So what, what am I going to do is, see uh, if I reversed this first, okay. If I just reverse this first, uh, fine look at it here. I had this signal x of n, okay. If I just shift it first, if I perform time shift first, time shift first ok and I make it x of n plus 2, n plus 2 fine 
then I am performing next I am performing time reversal reversal so that I obtain x of minus n plus 2 see if I just reverse this order suppose I wished to perform reversal first if I perform reversal first this would have become minus n now if you want to perform shifting next now if I want to perform shifting I cannot perform a shift of plus 2 right I have to give it a shift of minus 2 why because now this minus is going to come outside right so if I want x of minus n plus 2 I will have to give this a shift of minus 2 as compared to the previous one where I had to give a natural shift of plus 2 only. So uh, we always recommend this order for shifting then reversal so that you do not have to do not have to do this ok you do not have to perform this operation. So to perform this uh, last option what we do is we are going to perform shifting first shifting first and then we are going to reverse the whole thing right. So now n plus 2 this is a left shift so firstly I am going to perform a left shift by 2 which makes this uh, sample to occur at minus 1 and this one to occur at 2. So the signal is going to look something like this. right so this is how x n plus 2 is going to look now I am going to perform reversal reversal is uh, what happens in reversal is this sample is going to occur at minus 2 and this one is going to occur at plus 1 so after reversal the signal is going to look something like this Right, so this is how minus n plus 2 is going to look fine so uh, on the only thing that you have to keep in mind in doing uh, this this type of operations in which there are implicit operations also there are two shift of shift operation plus reversal operation or any two operations are combined what order you have to follow if I had to do reversal first if I wished to do reversal first then what I had to do is I could not do this left shift then then I had to perform a right shift. So this is the only thing that you need to keep in mind when you are performing some combination of operations.